Here we go, and we're going to now look at the third part of this question, find the angle GAC. Right, well if we go into our Google SketchUp, this is the triangle we were looking at previ previously. We found the length AG, and we found the length AC. We now, and we also know the length CG, and we want to find this angle. Now it's quite important when considering these questions, although it's quite easy in this question given all the lengths, to make sure you are looking at the right angle. If you rotate this round, you notice if we do this, then this angle looks very big. And if we rotate around here and we look from slightly above, then the angle gets much smaller and much sharper. And the actual real angle is the one when we're looking at from directly from the side of the triangle. Okay, so not tilted that way on, not not tilted that way on. So when you're trying to work out triangles in more complicated problems, make sure you've got the triangle side on in your view to work out your angle. So let's go to our question and these are the values we found previously. In fact I don't have the value for AG that we found previously but then again we only need two values so let's use these values. We've got AC we found in part 1 as root 20. We could go and look back at what we found in part 2 which is the 4.72 for AG and use that but why use a rounded answer when I've got two exact answers here. Now what I am going to need to use is the right formula so using so katoa and this little diagram here i've put up for you so you can see an easy way to remember how to use so katoa so so long as you've got the word spelt correctly so you know how to spell so katoa you can see this triangle spells the words so this one ka this one toa. As long as you remember that it all goes in order, left to right, the same as the word, you'll get these in the right place. And this tells you that the tan equals the opposite over adjacent. So tan of the angle equals opposite over adjacent. If you look, want to know what the opposite, then opposite must equal tan times adjacent. So we go long, we times, we go up and down, we divide. So adjacent equals the opposite over the tan of the angle. Now I'll help you remember to put do the formulae correctly. So, the formula we're going to use, in this case, we have got to label our triangle first and lay, work out which angle we're dealing with first. So the angle we are dealing with here is the one we want to find. We want to find G, A, C. We've got the opposite. This is opposite the angle, 1.5. And the root 20 is adjacent to angle. Let me just rub out some of these words here. Okay. And put back our opposite in. So we've got opposite and adjacent. Which of these formulas connect opposite and adjacent? Well this does opposite and hypotenuse. This one does adjacent and hypotenuse. This one does opposite and adjacent. So we're going to use this formula here. And we want to know the tan of the angle. We want to know the angle so we're going to use the tan bit equals the O over A bit. And the tan bit, remember, is tan of the angle. We're going to call the angle theta here. So tan theta will equal the opposite 1.5 over root 20. Well, now we're going to hear it, need our calculator. So you get 1.5 divided by the square root of 20 equals. Uh, for some reason, didn't like that. Um, now let's put it into the fraction properly. I don't know what I did wrong. I didn't see what I did wrong. I didn't look at it. So let's just do it as we see it on the paper. 1.5 over root 20. And that gives us our third form. You could look at the decimal form. It doesn't really matter which form we look at. Okay. Um, if you want to get sort of working marks, it's probably a good idea to write the decimal form down at this stage. So tan 
theta equals sorry I just lost the calculator I'm going to have it so I can see it 0, 0.335 ok now we now want to find out what the angle is well we've got tan of the angle equals this well we want to inverse the tan of the angle. So we take our answer and we do inverse tan of it and we get 18.54 degrees. Now again we're going to round to 3SF so let's look at 1, 2, 3SF. Look at the fourth one. It's a 4 so it's less than 5 so we don't round up. So the answer will be 18.5 degrees to three significant figures. So here we go. Theta equals 18.5 degrees and probably we ought to write our answer out properly GAC will equal 18.5 degrees to 3SF